no sticks, no brick. Hey guys, we got another great video for you this week. We celebrate New Year's Eve in Arizona and then head back to California. Me and Jen get into a little competition with mini golf. We do a couple home projects and then we visit the USS Midway. So stick around, here we go. guys, it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. I can't believe it's going to be 2023 tomorrow. It's years fall by. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to sit down and figure out how many states and different campsites we've been to this year so far. We're heading up to the RV Park Bar. Yeah, they got like a tiki bar. Yeah, so little small pictures for like four bucks. Some cocktails. Of Coke. Yeah, whatever you touch <laughs> We're still here at Emerald Cove RV Resort, just outside of uh, Parker, Arizona. Only got a couple days left here, and we're only here for six days. So we're definitely gonna have to come back and explore this area, because six days is definitely not enough. Let's like come back once a little warmer, do some water sports activities. Yeah, everybody's jet skiing and boating on the river. The Colorado River's right here. Uh, it's not too bad. It's been in the 60s, yeah. but there's people on walking around in like big heavy jackets and stocking caps and gloves and Jen and I are walking around in shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. I got jeans on the outside. Yeah. The Look at the sunset behind us though. It's beautiful here. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have a safe, happy new year and uh, we'll see you in 2023. Ooh. Well, it is our last day here at Emerald Cove RV, RV Resort. And it's finally sunny. Yeah, it's finally sunny and beautiful today. It has rained so hard the last couple days. In fact, it's like a lake here. Everything is just soaked and muddy. It's just a big old mess right now. So tomorrow's a travel day. We are heading back to Wilderness Lakes Thousand Trails in Menifee. I gotta get some back maintenance done. <laughs> Supposed to get it done the last time we were there, but ended up getting COVID. If you remember our COVID video. Yep. And we had to reschedule. Had to reschedule it. So I'm gonna head back there for three weeks, get the back maintenance done. It'll be our last time in California for a while, because then we go back to Yuma pretty much for the rest of the winter. Now that we're going back to World of Mist, there's things that we didn't do last time that we're gonna do this time. Yeah. San Diego Zoo. The USS Midway. Yeah. We'll take you with us. Yeah. Don't worry. So this weekend, like we said, it was New Year's weekend. This place was packed solid. Oh yeah. Quiet hours probably, well, they were not enforced too much because <laughs> it's like one in the morning and fireworks are going off. But it was New Year's party. Eve. But it was so New Year's Eve. So they get a pass. Yeah. But, uh, but the only thing that kind of sucked is everybody started honking their horns right. at midnight. <laughs> Of course, but, we didn't make it to midnight. We were asleep. But. Uh, so woke us up. Yeah, the nope. only problem is itty bitty has some anxiety with loud noises <laughs> yeah. and stuff. So she wasn't a big fan, but. No big deal. No big deal, Everybody yeah. Everybody had a good time. So yeah, these these water sites would be pretty sweet. Though. Oh, especially you come back when it's warmer and you can like get in the water. Mm -hmm. Looks like the wild burrow has made their presence known. We did do a 360 degree video for this park and I'll pop a card right there. Check it out. If you haven't seen one of our 360 degree videos, um, it's kind of a unique way of how we do an RV park tour. There's tons of videos out there, people doing RV park tours, but then on ours, I put the 360 degree camera on the e-bike, ride it around the park, and that way you guys can just look around 360 degrees and take in the whole park. And then I uh, talk about you know the amenities they have, if we liked it and all that kind of stuff. So, so I don't know if we've told you this, but Jen and I, well, we can be a little competitive. A little bit. <laughs>
That's awesome. Mmm, yeah. This is a par three, by the way. Ooh, Makes and you got it a hole in one? Hole in one. I think that high school golf thing that you did is paying off. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I hate this game. <laughs> How many was that? Three. Three? Yeah, what did three. I get? Two. Oh, two. Twenty, twenty-two. Who's got 22? You do. What do you got? 26. Ooh, it's close. It's close. Not Time close for the me. back nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You have to go through that. But I want to go where you're at. This is cheating. Why is that cheating? That's cheating. You have to go through the mouth. I don't want to go through the mouth. <laughs> I don't know where your ball went. Um, the shark ate my ball. Hello! <laughs> Jennifer's destroying the golf course. Find it? Mm, that's not it. <laughs> interference with the camera. Well, you're the one that put the camera there, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> hey, went in. Last hole, what do you need? Like, what's the score? Oh, I need a hole in one, and you probably need, like, way more. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Hit. <laughs> Triple hit! Quadruple hit! We'll count it as one hit. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, come on. In. Oh, there we go. Oh, I want nothing. I want ice cream. Oh. From the store. Should we go to the store and get some ice cream? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Ice cream. Travel day snacks for tomorrow? Yep. Because we got sandwiches. We ain't got no chips. We do now. Look at the selection of ice cream we have in here. So with our RPI membership, it was only 13 bucks a night here. Most of the time it's $10 a night for RPI parks. However, this one had an extra $3 a day fee. But 13 bucks a night, not too shabby. Well, we made it to Wilderness Lakes Thousand Trails here in uh, Menifee, and it has done nothing but rain for three straight days. <laughs> We're gonna have water farm property here before we know it. <laughs> Jeez, what a mess. 
just non-stop garbage rain. Look at that water. It goes all the way from there, all the way back. We just got back from grocery shopping and there was like three or four sites that we went by that are basically inhabitable. You can't even get in them because they're flooded. So when we left Emerald Cove, they were having some flooding issues as well, but they were pumping the water out of the big puddles into a tank, but I ain't doing nothing here. Well, since it has been raining for days on end, it's time to get some inside projects done. One of the projects I actually already did, I posted it on our Facebook page and Instagram, but I wanted to show it to you real quick. And that is flipping the table around horizontally versus vertically. When we bought the rig, the table was facing towards the walkway and it kind of got in the way, especially when you put the leaf out. Um, we don't usually use it to eat on because it's just me and Jen. So normally we eat in front of the TV or outside anyway. The table is primarily used for my workstation when I'm editing videos. By flipping it horizontally, I have a, actually more workstation because I was able to take the leaf and permanently keep it up the whole time. So it extends the length of the table, which is working great. And then while we were at Target today, we bought this little storage bin so I could store my laptop and all my camera accessories and all that kind of stuff, especially during travel day. I think that's gonna work out just fine. The other project that I'm gonna take care of today is replacing our shoe organizer in the garage. If you watched our RV storage video, which I'll pop a card right here, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, we did highlight our storage for our shoes that we have in the back of the garage here. Well, that shoe organizer that we have uh, did last about a year and a half, almost two years that we've been on the road. However, it's starting to fall apart. <laughs> it is plastic. I've had to re-glue it several times. On travel days, shoes go all over the place. So we got this one at Target today and hopefully it's a little bit sturdier and shoes will actually stay put. whose birthday it is today. Guess whose birthday it is. It's mine. Happy birthday. Thank you. Last birthday in the 40s? In the 30s. Oh, 30s, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what right. are you trying 30s. to tell everybody here? Uh, 30s, yep, yeah. that's right. <laughs> what are we gonna do today? Celebrate your birthday. We're gonna go into San Diego. Yeah. Check out the USS Midway. And then I don't know, whatever else I feel like doing. Your birthday quarter has officially begun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's also Red Friday, so happy Red Friday, everyone. If you don't know what Red Friday is, it's a way to remember everyone deployed, which is the acronym for RED, remember everyone deployed. Obviously, Jen and I have been on multiple deployments, being both retired Air Force, so you guys and gals that are deployed right now, you're in our thoughts. went up into the plane. It's pretty cool, huh? Get up in there. Come on. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I think my feet might be sticking out. Yeah, you might have been too tall. <laughs> chain 
length is 156 pounds. Oh my god. It's open. Hey sir, can I get a beer? No, no beer. I wonder who those peanuts are back there. <laughs> Eject, eject, eject. <laughs> Birthday so far? Yeah. Get to go back and uh, relive some military days a little bit. Yeah, it's always nice to, you know, brings back good memories yeah. and right. camaraderie. Makes me miss it a little bit. Yeah. But not that much to go back. <laughs> Retired life's better. Oh, uh, way better. Yeah. Full time RV life's better too. Oh, huh? Definitely. Yeah. I got my man Valley here. He's trying to break the uh, record industry, right? Man, what we're about going to go on? crazy, man. D Valley. Straight from Seattle, Washington, man. But we down here in San Diego right now. Um, I'm hanging with my Alaskans. Yeah. My Alaskan people, man. <laughs> and it's her birthday today. Hey, happy birthday to the queen. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, we came out here, man, doing our thing, man. We just uh, selling the music, man, and letting folks okay. know what we got going on out here. All right. Well, good luck to you, brother. Appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it, man. Much love, you guys. Thank you, man. Yes, thank you for coming out. All right. God take care. We all bleed the same. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you're notified whenever we release new content. Until next week, guys, safe travels. <laughs>